These issues of finding men who can be strong but not stronger than have happened in television before. I'm a huge Buffy fan, all right? Um, I get to... I could do many a lecture on Buffy. And think about it, right? We had both David Boreanaz and James Marsters. Of course, Marsters will appear in Torchwood for us again later. They, they had to be strong, but she always was the one who solved the problem. It was her skill that did it, whether it was the strength of her emotion that she could avoid how much she loved Angel in order to have to kill him. Spoiler alert if you're not a Buffy fan. <laughs> um, but that's a really tricky thing. And also, of course, even Xander, they dealt with a character who could be strong, again, emotionally, but he was never physically stronger than Buffy, right? You could say the same, obviously, for the current day Wonder Woman, right? How do you balance that out? And that was Alan Heinberg, who's a wonderful writer, came out of the Shondaland universe and then ended up doing Wonder Woman. He's now doing Sandman in the UK with Neil Gaiman. So again, the Doctor Who connection, and that's coming out later this year. And of course, this goes back to the 70s and the Bionic Woman who was surrounded by men who had to be intelligent and helpful, but not better than her. So this is something Chibnall had to have in mind as he put this together. 